So I am here. I made it to Maryland so that I could vote. Whew. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Because your girl is tired. But I wanted to get voting out of the way. So I am so excited that I could get here to vote early. There are a lot of people out here. <laughs> Which is good. That's good. But I need to go. I need to get my lip combo on because my lips are dry. It, it is cold out here. Hello. <laughs> Good morning. Welcome to Vlogtober Day 28. My God. 28. If you are new here, hello. My name is Stevie. The smile behind Stevie M starts. And if you're new here, I have been vlogging daily since October 1st. October's almost over, y'all. I'm trying to figure out if I'm going to do daily vlogs. I really don't think I am because this takes a lot out of me but I know for sure I will be doing either two to three days or weekly vlogs because I just love doing it and I've met so many amazing people that have subscribed to this channel and I feel like we're a YouTube family now and I still want to get monetized on this platform so you will still be seeing me but I think I'm gonna go back to like planning out videos and doing some like dedicated makeup tutorials I might even do more talking videos I don't know but I am gonna keep the vlogs going though for sure but yeah so I'm about to walk in to this voting station I'm so excited I am so excited for this election because it's gonna go great I know it will I have faith that it will and I'm just glad I'm going to get this over with <laughs> so that it won't be on my mind since we do live in Virginia because I wanted to vote in person for this election. So I am here, but I'm not going to take y'all in with me because I don't want no crazy people to come up to me. So I will see you when I get back. I'm back and I got my sticker. I'm so excited. I'm also very glad that that is over. Oh, Lord, do your thing in this election. Please do it. Mm, do it, Lord. All right, so now I'm about to go to Walmart and get some pants for both Baby Fee and Amory because I told you the girls are growing, okay? They are growing. And so Walmart's literally, literally right down the street, so I'm going to go see what I can find for them because they are growing. So I'm currently listening to Kennedy Ryan's Before I Let Go. I had tried to start it two years ago, but it was so triggering because I just had a miscarriage. Um, but lately, everybody has been talking about Kennedy Ryan, Kennedy Ryan, Kennedy Ryan. And I remember that I had this book and that I have been trying to get back into reading this year, which I have, I'm so proud of myself. But I was like, CV, I think it's time to try to start this book over again and I have been enjoying it I have it's not as triggering as it was to the point that that I need to shut it and just like take breaks but it I have come to the realization that I want to go back to therapy um, if you haven't started the book it talks a lot about therapy so I had a therapist when we lived in Vegas but since we moved to Virginia I haven't found a therapist yet I have made a couple calls but none of them take my insurance therapy can get expensive so I think I just need to keep calling around I, that made me like give up on try to find a therapist but this book is really pushing me to go back to therapy because I felt so good going to therapy in Vegas like it was like my another form of self-care for me and I feel like I need it back in my life <laughs> so yeah I am really liking the book I am listening to it though I am not like physically reading it because if I'm honest I wanted to get rid of my audible 
um, subscription because those subscriptions add up. But then I thought about it like I really want to get into reading and I feel like I could be going, I could be reading more books if I were listening to it. Because right now, what I listen to, like when I'm cleaning and stuff, are YouTube videos, which I still love. But I am slacking on my book goal, and I feel like I could be getting through these books if I listen to them. Now, I will say that I do prefer physically reading, but to get through the books that I want to and the amount that I want to, I just said I'm going to subscribe to Audible again. So I literally subscribed while I was on the road to vote. But yeah, let me know below in the comments, are you reading anything lately? If so, let me know what you're reading because I wanna know. I want to know. And if you have any like favorite fiction books by black authors, also let me know below in the comments because I'm really trying to get into black authors and I don't know of many. So I want some book recommendations. This year, so far, my favorite books have been self-help book-wise, Be Seen um, by Jen. I think her name is Jen. I don't know. I'll put it below in the description box. I also loved The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. Oh my gosh, that book was so good. Uh, what else did I read? Um, oh. It starts with us and it ends with us. They're by Colleen Hoover. Excellent books. I finished both of them. And there was one other book that I read. Oh, I see the cover. And I read it on a plane when we got on our way to Hawaii. It was so good. Oh, it has left me. But I'll put all the books that I've read this year down in the description box. Absolutely loved everything that I read so far. These are so cute. five T's or granted even two T's though. So I think I have to go to girls and get like extra small for A. Marie. Okay, so I'm not finding much of anything here. Um, so what I'm gonna do is get these shoes and then head to Target. Oh my goodness oh my goodness and they have a black gray and silver one as well I might need that 
I might eat this. Let's get the one that people haven't really touched. Oh, it has some weight to it too. Okay, now <laughs> I came in here for close to the girls and I am finding Christmas stuff for the girls and myself. So, need to control myself. But right now, we need to look for pants for the girls. They are clearly bringing out Christmas stuff because there's boxes everywhere. So hopefully they have the girl size. Tutti, okay, for the girl. I always do like basic colors because basic colors can go with anything. Let's do a gray. jeans. She could always use jeans. And for baby feet. They don't have any denim in her size. So I'm going to end up getting her black. And she likes sparkly things. So I'm going to get her a black sparkly one too. Alright, so I found pants. Now let's see what else I can find. I've always wanted a gingerbread pillow and I see one. <laughs> oh, this is so cute. The Christmas mugs are out. I'm obsessed and trying not to buy every single one of these. But I am getting this one. I can't pass this one up. I'm getting that. But they have a cute little nutcracker. And then they have some that have like a surprise inside. Look at that. So cute. So that was a successful Target run. Of course I got more than I needed, but that's okay. I didn't go overboard. <laughs> but I think Amory is gonna be so excited about her bluey shoes from Walmart and her bluey pajamas. And she's matching with Baby Fee, so she's just gonna love it. And Baby Fee's gonna love the fact that she's wearing bluey. But now it's time to hit the road so I can get home and make it in time for gymnastics. So I made it home. I actually beat them home from picking up Amory. I'm honestly surprised, but I made good time. There was hardly any traffic. Smooth sailing day trip. Phenomenal. Now I gotta go get Amory's um, leotard for gymnastics because they're gonna take her to gymnastics while I get to this hair. I need to do my hair. Okay, so they headed to gymnastics. Now I'm going to wash this hair y'all lord have mercy my hair is so dry uh it just needs to be clarified and washed so this wash day's lineup i'm gonna go in with the honey fresh a clarifying shampoo with moisture by taraji p henson i love this clarifying shampoo okay it is so good gets my scalp clean the hair clean all of the things the number one moisturizing shampoo that I use for 2024 is by Sacred. I love this hydrating shampoo. My hair feels so moisturized afterwards. It is easy to detangle with this hydrating shampoo. The smell, everything. Love this hydrating shampoo. Then, I don't want to get a little controversial, but I actually mix the brands. Okay, so Fenty Hairs Deep Conditioner. The smell, the slip, the way it makes my hair so manageable after deep conditioning. My hair has never felt so soft after a deep conditioner. 
my favorite deep conditioner of 2024. So yes, I do combine sacred and Fenty hair. For those who have asked me in the past, I have not used all of one line, but I do have favorites from each line that I've used so far. So, but I will say that I really, 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 really want to try Sacred's hair and edge oil because my edges do look much better, but they are so thin because of postpartum shedding. I experienced, if you are me, if you are new here, I experienced postpartum shedding for the first time with my second pregnancy. I did not go through it with my first. And so I was just like, what is happening? Um, so that's why I really want to try her hair growth slash edge growth oil. But I don't know when I'm going to purchase it. And yeah, so the styling products that I'm going to use, I'm actually going to use Patterns Curl Mousse to do a twist out. And I'm thinking about sealing it with Blue Magic just to retain some of that moisture. I absolutely love Blue Magic. I use it in my kids' hair. Yes, I still use grease because it, it's just, it still works. I used Blue Magic in my hair when I was little. Not me, but my mom and my aunt did when I was little. And this does wonders for my kids' hair, okay? There's wonders. People always ask, like, how'd you get Amory's hair so long? Because she has bad cradle cap, okay? I mean, like, terrible cradle cap. And for, like, months, I would only use Blue Magic in her hair. Because, number one, she had allergies, so I didn't know what would cause flare-ups with her skin. And number two, I did simple, low-manipulation hairstyles with her hair. Not only because she didn't have much hair in the front at all, but because I didn't want, like, hairstyles to, like, tug on the hair that she actually did have. So, yeah, that is my wash day lineup, okay? Now I'm going to go wash my hair so I can get done by the time they get back. I don't really film myself in the shower yet because I haven't found a setup for me to feel comfortable in the shower filming. So that's why I'm not going to show me actually cleansing my hair, but I will show me um, styling my hair. Before I jump in the shower, before I wash my hair, I always pre-poo my hair. So today, what I'm gonna use as a pre-poo is As I Am's co-wash. I absolutely love the way it makes my hair feel. It like immediately softens it, makes it manageable to detangle before I shampoo. styling my hair with. I'm actually going to go in with the Design Essentials Natural Hair African Chavy. Oh, I'm saying that right. But their leave-in conditioner, it's their growth collection and their curl perfecting mousse. One thing about my hair, <laughs> um, it is definitely not as thick as it used to be. And so I'm trying to get that back if possible, I don't even know if that's possible. But I really, really, really want my hair to be as thick as it used to be. When people see my hair, they're like, oh, your hair's so beautiful, it's so thick. And yes, it is thick to some people, but I know what my hair used to feel like, and it is so much thinner than um, what it used to be. So I'm trying to get the thickness back, or is it density? I'm not sure, but like, the fact that I can hold my hair like this means that it has lost some thickness to me. Or is it density? You let me know in the comments. I but it might be density. Um, but yeah, it used to be hard for me to do this with my hair, and now it just seems like it's so easy to do that. And it's kind of sad, because that's like my way of knowing that my hair has changed. If possible, 
I hope that I could get like my thickness back, but I don't know. I hope I can though, I really do. But I'm just gonna go ahead and do some um, medium size two strand twists because I have a campaign to shoot and I need my hair to dry. <laughs> so I'll probably take this out tomorrow night and film either tomorrow night or the 30th. I know our bodies change with pregnancies, but I just love my hair so much. So this is hard for me. This is hard for me. I hope it does become thicker again. If not, I have to be prepared that it's not, that it doesn't come get as thick as it used to. So, like the fact that I could put this chunk of hair into only three twists and it be like this thick, that shows me that it has thinned. probably going to take my um, washcloth and just get this extra product off my hair so it can dry quicker but this is how I'm going to keep my hair for the next day I know it'll dry quick because mousse always gets my hair to dry super quick which is great um, but yeah this is what we're looking like two strand twists <laughs> Cause I got
me, it's in my birthday, yeah, cause I got